Okay, this is going to be a real quickie. Um, just got this in. The first one I've ever had, I, you know, friends of mine are just nuts about these mouthpieces. Uh, but this whole thing is going to be about this famous Lawton, made in England, Jeff Lawton uh, mouthpiece. And this one, I should have looked before, it's a six star B. So they made a B and a double B and they made a five, six, seven, eight and so on. The eights get a little radical and a little harder to play on the low end. The five doesn't have enough juice to it. So the six is a very nice compromise size on the mouthpiece. Uh, yes, six star B. I'm not sure if you can read it. There we go. Six star B. Um, but the main thing is wonderful, wonderful shape. So these are still made, but Jeff Lawton passed away and the sun's taken it over now and all that jazz. So anyhow, this was bought uh, by a friend of mine, my age, father in the 60s. So this is definitely a vintage one. This is, you know, 50, 60 years old. So anyhow, nice shape, got the integral ligature, which is really cool, sliding back and forth. And still, which is pretty rare, still has the mouthpiece uh, cap on it, the reed cap. So these usually get lost and pretty much impossible to find. So anyhow, that slides right on real nice. Just like that. Protect the reed. So again, you can imagine these things getting lost. So anyhow, um, the guy passed away and then the mouthpiece kind of floated around and ended up here on consignment. So wonderful, wonderful shape. These are selling for, you know, plus or minus $500 price range. And it's going to be priced, you know, well under that. So um, just a little bit of a ding in the bite plate. So it has been played, just so you can see right here, but, but not very much. I mean... I, I put the little patch over the top, and you don't even see that. Um, but anyhow, it, it can do just about anything. So you can get those low notes out, come out pretty nice with it. take just about anything you put at it. You can just stream through it or get a nice uh... videos everybody wants to know what mouthpiece is you using what, what, what reed are you using so anyhow this one's just on the mouthpiece and again uh, uh, Jeff Lawton made in England um, very collectible very rare mouthpiece um, a friend of mine has collected these over the years and and uh, they've gone up better than any t-bill or retirement account, account you can make they were a couple hundred bucks back then and again now they're in the, the four to five maybe plus price range so this is on a, like a two and a half reed, and it, it just plays really nice, the whole range of the horn. When you get up to an eight, it's really hard to do that subtone stuff. So this is right in the, in, in the middle of the opening world. Um, the rails are in great shape. The tip's in great shape. The table's in great shape. So, um, let me take the reed off real quick, and uh, it's going to be probably pretty hard to see, but we'll take the ligature off, spit off of it, and um, 
I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, it's not too bad. The table's in nice shape. Just a big, big open chamber. Look at that. It's just straight through. So you can really kill people with it. So again, let's see if we can see that. And again, again, just a little bit of a dicking, ding in the, in there. And let's turn this around. Oop. Let's go this way. No, oh, it was right the first time. Get the light just right, Lawton six. star B. So it'd be a nice one to add to your collection. Uh, again, you could play any style of music. You could, you know, play some real mellow stuff, or you could scream through it. Um, but it's just amazing the condition. There's no, I can't see any dings or anything on the rails or tip. So it's really well taken care of. This guy was a pro, and. Uh, who knows how long he played this, but took good care of it. May not have been his own new mouthpiece, but um, who knows? Don't have a ton of history. And then again, with all the nice cap and everything, the plating's real nice. And that's about it. Jeff Lawton, six star B, tenor saxophone, of course, mouthpiece. There you go.